Hey there, FM aficionados, and welcome back to our Cove Rambles FM Journeyman series. And we start today on the schedule because, as you might just be able to see, we have done absolutely god awful, atrocious, terrible, sickeningly bad. Yeah, we are absolutely shocking. And even worse is we're literally breaking records left, right and centre for being the worst team that's ever existed in the history of this league. So, thumbs up to me. Great manager, done a fantastic job. Who's Alex Ferguson? Nah, move over. I'm breaking more records than Alex Ferguson at this point, to be fair. So, you can't really argue with that. But, yeah, so, I don't know, guys. I don't really know what to do. Like, there isn't other players that I can just pick up. There isn't a wealth of players available. And even if there is, I don't have the wage budget currently to be able to even go after them. So, I don't know. I, I don't really know what I can do at this point. I had the defensive strategy and I thought that was going quite well. And as you can see, up until the UCD game, it was going all right. Like, just kicking off the season, we had four draws and uh, a win and a loss. So, it wasn't that bad. But then... Ever since that last live con game on the 3 5 with Longford, we've just got absolutely smashed by everybody. Even Wexford picked up a win over us, and Wexford, the team we're supposed to be able to beat. So I don't know, man. It's It's been rough. It's been a rough couple of games, and it's hard to even see a way forward. I did change my strategy, to be fair. I have now changed it to this because I noticed we were doing nothing from the wing whatsoever. There was never a time we were able to do anything there. But yeah, I, just, I don't really know what, what the game plan is. And today as well, like this is, this is going to be such a hard live con for us to win because we're in the League Cup and I think the League Cup is a third one if I'm correct so there's the senior yeah so this is a third one we haven't played this one before I'm not sure if we've ever won it no we have never won this league so I have actually picked up Dundalk as our affiliate but who knows even we beat Dundalk last season so I'm not sure if that's the best call in the world but yeah I, I don't know it's a, it's a weird one it's hard to know really what I should I should be doing with the team um, it's getting we worse and worse and as I was about to say this game's against Cork City who play in the Premiership above us they are currently sitting in 7th position and we are ninth of our league uh, just because I'm showing this year I know we're not going to be playing a league game today but I thought I should maybe show the league table so yeah Athlone and Town are below us with 4 since we got beat by Wexford they're up at 9 and Cam and Tealy are on 5 points 1 ahead of us so yeah man yeah man it's, it's really I don't know I don't know what I'm supposed to do at this point like I guess I just don't have the, the managerial really experience at this point to be able to really do too much because I'm looking at it and I'm like so what what is it I'm supposed to do to fix it even when we switched to the more defensive style I felt they were really doing a good job of keeping them outside the box but then somehow every single game we played like in the Longford game but every game since they'll just take a shot from 40 yards and it'll go in so I don't know how I'm supposed to stop them from doing that anybody is able to shoot on target from 40 yards out in the game essentially but if our goalkeeper will never save it I don't really know like what if, if I can't have them outside the box and I can't keep them in the box what's really the strategy then and it's not like we have the quality that we can keep possession we really need to be defensive and come in the counter attack so I don't know but we can worry about the league in the next game because this one is the Irish League Cup and we are playing against a team above us, so it is going to be really hard. We're keeping the five at the back. We're going to keep essentially what we had the last game. We have brought Owen Porter back into the team just because he does quite good in this box-to-box -box kind of position. So I feel like he can he can have some value out there. I have Colin on the bench. He did bang in goals last season. I'm going to bring back on Candy because he has been able to put, a, put the ball in the net for us at one point. Uh, Daily Butts doesn't really have a position even though he has one of our best players now so that's kind of awkward we have brought Keane Leonard back into the team he was the top goal scorer last season his stats don't really hold up but he is probably the top goal scorer in the team uh, and he is making some good runs so yeah well we'll see we'll see what goes on here I might take Berkey off actually and put on McCaffrey yeah I think that's what we'll do and I'll get him an attack and Leonard poaching so yeah we'll just fire straight into it and I will see you in one second 
I have only just realised from the tunnel as well that Cork City are actually our rivals. So that's going to make this even worse if we end up picking up a loss. Everyone will hate us. But they are a division above us, so what can people expect? But yeah, since Cove down is down Corkway, it might be in the county of Cork. So Cork City, obviously, is going to be the biggest from Cork. So yeah, we've we've got some some trouble here if we lose, definitely, just from this being our main rivals. Well, I guess Cove Wanderers is the main rivals, but they're even worse than us, apparently. So there is someone worse than us. I know you're thinking there isn't, okay? There is. So you keep your judgmental mind to yourself. It's ironic our goalkeeper's name might be Saver because he can't save a shot to save himself. Absolute shocking goalkeeping from both him, even Hunt as well these days. Hunt's not been living up to it either. We're just taking goals into us constantly. Over the last nine games or something, it was telling us, oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I was saying before. What am I supposed to do to stop that from happening? Like, you, you guys might be able to give me some feedback on it because in my mind we're keeping them outside the box we're making sure they can't really do it so they have to kind of float around wait for an opportunity but apparently they don't he just stands still and then he'll bang it in from 40 yards and it will go in every time so I know we're at the league above now but this is happening against teams in our league as well that aren't that much better than us so I just don't really get what I'm supposed to do to stop them from being, like, from being able to take any shots other than keep possession the whole game, but we're just not good enough to be able to keep possession. We're very nervy when, when they're passing the ball in like this as well. Seva actually got a shot. Good job. Good job. Big clap. Round of applause. Seva. Shadowland's getting everything there. Shadowland. Sometimes I just see a name and think it's going to say something, and then I just say it out loud and hope for the best. Is his name? Shanahan, that makes that's better than Shanahan, I guess. Oh come on, man! What was that? At least Save actually managed to live up there. He's supposed to be our best goalkeeper as well. Also, from I believe episode four, we did get a comment from Piercy saying that we should have Adam Mylod in goals because he was the star when he went through a C race. But unfortunately, I released Adam Mylod multiple episodes ago because we're just trying to reduce the wage budget and I didn't think he was as good as Tommy Holland and at this point Tommy Holland's a third choice goalkeeper as it is so I just couldn't really rationalise why we keep my lord plus he played absolutely shocking for us Burn looked like he was going to do something there and the game was like nah don't worry about it lads nothing happened ah oh, come on man what a tackle from Fleming. You actually made a good tackle. Spectacular there. I actually had a spectacular one in the last episode as well, so I should really should really just button it. Our our uh, wing backs, even though we're on the uh, even though we're on the broadest defensive, they're just doing absolutely nothing at all. They're, it's like they're afraid of the linesman. Linesman's just there glaring at them, that little look in his eye, looking like he's about to do something any second, and they're like, yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a stay away from there, guys. Back on up, Rafferty. Yeah, just give it back to them. Of course, why wouldn't you, Rafferty? Sound lad. Get in a bin. Swan dive directly head first into a jaggy nettle bush. Good little block. Got McCaffrey here. Pushing forward a little bit, not going to make it. Bad tackle though, red card them, red card all of them. Send every one of them off, that's how bad Shanahan's tackling is. That's you, Shana, Shana Lang and Ding Dong. Get yourself off the pitch. Get away, coffee, get away. More of a tea man myself. So we've had one shot so far in the game. Let's see if we can get one more shot in. And somehow, with that one shot, get two goals. Be impressive. He's a doubting me, but if it happens, nice from Fleming, threw it Candy, get shot in, Anderson, go on Candy, you cheeky little Candy. I just got the thought that if my neighbours heard me shouting this sentence, you cheeky little Candy, that would be something else. That was a crazy finish, how he managed to get it from that angle. Little touch from Murphy, I think, as well. But come on, guys, we've got that. 
Nice little header from Lyons there. Don't know why I said that. It was a, a fairly standard header. Nothing specifically good about it. Ball hit him in the head and moved. Ah, come on, get it out there. Ah, they need a shot to get it. Oh. Come on, burn your first man to it. And you decide to just completely slow down on the way, but that's cool. You've still got it. Don't let them take it back. Get that cross in. Thought Cheeky Candy was about to do it again, but... What was the game plan there? I know we like to just chip the ball over and hope for something, but, like, wh what? Head out, head out. <sighs> Technically, he did what I asked. That was very nice of him. He didn't need to do that. Right, let's get it. Well, when I said let's get it out, I didn't necessarily mean to do that, but... Close enough lines, close enough, lad. Agnew, what kind of name is Agnew? Come on, Collins! I bet someone's watching me right now with the name Agnew, and I've just, for no reason, insulted one of my, my few viewers. Come on! Come on! Come on, Collins, we can do something. We can do nothing. You'll do nothing, so you will... I'm kind of happy with the draw at this point. What? Ah, oh, I thought save. I just put that out, and I was about to save at his heart as I rip it out of his chest and let it beat in my hand. Got a little dark there. Sometimes it has to get a little dark. You need to be a little dark to your players. Alex Ferguson threw a shoe at someone. I ripped their heart out like Bruce Lee and let it pulsate in my hand. Different people, different strokes. So. A positive, but you know what that means? It's ah, uh, I didn't realize we we're gonna. Uh, I thought we were gonna have a replay. <sighs> Let's keep an attack, then, guys. If I made all my subs, I've made all my subs, and look at Fleming up here, man. His legs haven't worked in about 20 minutes. To be fair, I wasn't sure if they worked in the first place, but come on, guys, they are focused. We are focused. Look, look, that's us focused. Splendid, spiffingly good time, guys. Don't like this position. Don't like it. Four dice. Get it off him. Get it off him. Ah! Bah! And it's disallowed. Yes. Go on. Ben Gaddy. That's what you get for having two second names. Two first names as a second name. Look at you. Every single player on your team is offside it simultaneously. That's the kind of ship you run. We're really dodgy with their little headers to get away because they don't go anywhere. Ah! I saw my life flash before my eyes there. And it wasn't good. Okay, we've went to penalties. We have went to penalties. Whew. Scary, man. Scary times. Look at them. A whole lot of fives in there. Couple of ones. Whew. Scary. Come on, Seva. Come on. Ugh. You literally just did a roly-poly. You just went, should I dive or should I have a swan dive exactly where I stand and roll around in the ground a bit? Leonard, come on. Yes. Big Keen. Keen Leonard. That's why we've slowly introduced you back in the team. We penalties like that. Nice one right in the bottom corner. Full dice you getting it. He's got it. Yeah, we got a little bit more reach out at Saver there. Got a little bit of distance. Joe Collins apparently is a six. We're trying to, like, build them up to be in the team a bit more. And it's in. Good penalty as well. Good stuff. Good stuff. <sighs> ah. Every single time I'm just like, yeah, no, yeah, no. Right, now we're down to the low level, guys. We're at the level five penalty takers and defenders and stuff now. Ah, and it's in. Come on. Come on! Not long to go, guys. Come on, save that. It's time, man. It's time for you to get this one. Save a penalty. Oh, it's at a post! It's at a post! Come on! Two more. Two more. Come on, McSweeney. Ah! Of course that happens! Of course that happens! Oh! Tap the scales, tap the scales, I tap the scales in their favour. Wrong scales, tappages. 
who we got now. I think we might be down to the ones. It's either a five or a one. Alex Bourne, come on, man. You've been you've been trying to break yourself through as a star player. You've just been fringed this whole time. Don't mess it up now. We need this in the net, man. We need it. It's the all-important one, and then we're in sudden death. Come on. Come on. No! Right at the keeper, man. <sighs> Damn it. We did good, though, guys, to be able to come back from that. We had 35 shots in this. See, it's that stuff that just keeps happening to us, you know what I mean? Like, it's just non-stop. Alas, it's not to be. We're out of the League Cup. So, because it's the most winnable game... Words. Because it's the most winnable game, Wilton United in the Munster Senior Cup semi-final looks like the game we're going to come back for. We have just lost six games on the trot, though. We are getting just absolutely lambasted or lambasted, whatever that word is. We're just getting battled left, right and centre here. But Wilton United, I'm pretty sure, are amateur. They are a amateur team. I don't even know what they play in or anything. And I don't think they've actually got a league. So, at least that's something. They don't even have a manager or a captain. None of it's loaded into the game. So, that's something at least. So yeah, we'll come back for that game. But as always, thanks a lot for coming, guys. Thanks for sharing in my pain and enjoying my suffering. I blame all you for watching this, for enabling me to continue going through this. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.